What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Uh. So, yeah, it looks like there's a pretty damn good chance that the fucking uh, Comets are going to win this one. Again, in a spectacular fashion, might I add. You know, like, again, I did not expect this shit to go like this at all. And I was expecting this to turn out very differently. Like, I was expecting the fucking, uh... If anything, I was expecting the Leopards to win. I mean, I was expecting a close game, for sure. But I was expecting the Leopards to win. I wasn't expecting the Comets to just completely shut out the fucking Leopards. Again, like I said, the fucking Leopards were favored to win this game based on the stats, but... Yeah, they just have not played worth a fucking damn so far. And they've had a few good plays here or there, but generally speaking, they've just been dog shit. So, I'm sure the Comets will be taking home the victory by the end of this quarter. Again, unless the Leopards make some kind of miraculous comeback, which, again, is not impossible. I've seen it happen before, but it's pretty damn improbable that the fucking Leopards are going to make a comeback. Especially not if they keep playing the way that they have so far. Now this is one heck of a play. Look at it. They're in a hole here on third down, and they come through with this perfect play that gets them a first and keeps the drive going. Gets the toss to the left. Missed tackle. Brooks is the guy who's there to bring it down at the 27. So they're actually getting at least close. For them, I'd at least want to put some points on the boards. So that way they can at least say that they weren't completely shut out. Nice, and they draw the face mask. Very good. I mean, it's all pointless again, like I said. Chances of the Leopards making a comeback is very small. Again, still not impossible, but it's pretty fucking... It's a pretty fucking slim chance. So, I mean, they got to score and score fucking quick. They have to do it several fucking times, too. Man, denied on that one. Let's see if they go for it. If I were them, I would just kick the field goal at this point. Just say, fuck it. Let's put three points on the board. But they're not going to do that. They're going to go for it. I would still kick the three points. I mean, that way at least they can say that they weren't shut out. Plus, they're going to need three points anyway to catch up to the Comets. But they did get the first down, so... It was a ballsy move, but credit where credit's due. Wow, just ran that shit right in there. Well done. 
score. He was like a locomotive with a full head of steam. Finally gave the fans something to cheer about. Really? They're going for two? That's kind of a dumb move, but okay. Although, I guess if they make it, they just need two more touchdowns and two more two-point conversions. So, Yeah, I understand it, but yeah. Yeah, ended up not working out for him that time. All right, and that makes it 24-6. So at least the Leopards can say that they were not completely shut out. Just mostly. <laughs> gonna try for the onside kick. It ain't gonna work. Obviously, I've seen it work only a few fucking times. That was like maybe maybe a ten percent chance. Like at best, it usually only ever has like a ten percent chance of actually working. Limiting cutback opportunities. Number 13 sends a man in motion. Tucks it away. John, one of your favorite terms right here. I'm going to use four. Yeah, but that's worse than a bullet. That kind of hit could loosen your teeth. Game of four. Third down and seven to go. The home team come out of the nickel back. Runs the run. Yeah, <laughs> destroyed his ass there. That was that was a good hit. They're gonna keep running the ball and pounding away at the defense. They'll keep the clock moving, and eventually the defense will be so tired they won't be able to stop anything. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. And so with two minutes left, there's no fucking way that the Leopards are making a comeback. If the Leopards come back to win this game, I will literally eat my own foot. Here's the punt. Andy signals for the fair catch. <laughs> and holding. Wow. That's exactly what they did not need. First down may be where they try something towards the end zone. Since they'll have three more downs to work with after that. They are fucking deep in their own territory, so they really can't afford a sack here. Number six, looking to pass. Lines up with five wide receivers. Throwing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he barely avoided the sack there. Got to give him credit, though. Did complete the pass, after all. He sees something in the defense. Yeah, they're trying, but I mean, it's pretty much an exercise in futility at this point. Closing in, throws it, and he just can't hang on. <coughs> Number six. Somehow got that. Yep, good defensive play, tipping the ball away. Those guys closing in and gunning the ball out of there. When you're down by this much, the offense doesn't want to be facing too many third and fourth down, because that means they're taking too much time. They should of course, third down. Every one or two down, if they want to have a chance at this thing. Unleashes the deep ball. Unleashes it deep, and nothing happening. He hung that one up there, but no one was able to get under it and make the catch. And this is the 
sixth play of this drive. So it all comes down to this. As expected, they'll go for it here with the pass. Boom, they actually get it. All right. Records the stop at the 33 yard line. He's calling everyone up to the line of scrimmage. Pass play here on first down. Gets rid of it. Incomplete. And they have to go to the air because they need big plays fast. That's right. You got to have composure in these situations. Find your receivers who can pick up yardage after the catch. But most importantly, you have to keep the chain moving. A little over a minute left. Nickelback in this time. Drops back. Gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. Nice read. Finding the receiver who is in single coverage. Yeah, that was good shit. They'll pass on every play from here on out. When you're down by more than one score, and there's less... I mean, the Leopards have had some decent plays here or there, but overall, they've just been not very impressive as a team. They'll go from the shotgun. Again, at least they were able to put some points on the board, but, like, still. Looking for a receiver. Shits the tackle. Penalty marker down the field. Oh, wow. <laughs> that fucking sucks. Appeared to be a hold on that play. Some of these guys wear jerseys two sizes too small. Or they tape them to their pads to prevent that kind of thing. Ball on their own 35. Come out in a dime package. Going to the air on first down. And he makes the grab. He found a soft spot on the defense and was right there to make the catch. The thing about a pass like that is it cuts down on the time the defender has to react to where the ball's heading. Oh, man. Caught it, got initially hit, and then hit again. <laughs> nice. It's a good way to keep the defense off balance. Got that shit out of there quick. That was impressive because he was about to be sacked. And it goes for about four yards. They're going to need to pass here, and they're not worried about first downs anymore. They need big gains and a quick score. Comets come out on a nickel pack. Drops back. Pressure. Gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. That powerful arm. Brings them a first down this time. Yeah, and you talk about putting some heat on your throws. This guy really let it go. Time is running out. They'll have to keep the ball in the air. <laughs> Dropping back to pass on first down. With the throw. Touchdown. Oh, wow. He ended up scoring a touchdown off of that. He, like, stumbled backwards almost into the end zone. Okay. All right. Yeah, I was going to say, that didn't quite look like a touchdown. I think they got away with one there. But, I mean, at this point, it's like, come on, dude. Just give it to him already. <laughs> yeah, that was a weird-looking play. <laughs> looked like it was, like, on the goal line maybe. But, like, yeah, I think it was short. I think they're overturning it, yeah. It was unclear yeah. why they called. I mean, at that point, it's like, dude, come on. You have to give it to these officials. Their job's not easy. Sometimes they make mistakes, and most of the times they're right. I mean, again, at that point, it's like, dude, come on. Just, just let them have it. You know? At that point. I would have just let it slide. I would have been like, eh, whatever, touchdown. It was a bullshit call, but whatever, touchdown. Who cares? There we go. Now they punched it in. So, I mean, I got to give the Leopards credit for at least putting in some effort at the end of the game here. I mean, they played a pretty shitty game throughout, but at least they've put some, you know, put some effort into scoring here at the end. Uh. They're at least not going to lose by a super embarrassing margin now. Now that they've actually managed to somewhat get their shit together. No good. Ah, it's still 24-12. Oh, they got 17 seconds left to score 12 more points. Good luck. Oh, they're not even going for the onside kick. 
So they probably pretty much know it's over at this point. But, I mean, hey, at least they were able to score two touchdowns. I mean, that's at least worth something. Nothing else is something to put on the stat sheet. Decent kick. We should have a return. From the nine-yard line. Forced a three and out on the offense's last possession. The only way the defense could get the ball back is if they had all their time out. The offense just has to kneel down a few times, and this one's over. So they'll just run the clock down and get out of here with a win. Yeah, this game did not go how I expected it to, though. Like, at all. But, yeah, credit to the Comets for uh, getting shit done today. For sure. So with that, the Comets take the victory over the Leopards 24-12. All right, well, guys, I got one more game planned for you guys today. So stay tuned for that shit. Until then, peace out.